I grew up in the Central Valley of California in a really small farming town called Sanger. So I um, used uh, the Chinese bitter melon, Mamortica charentia. So I used Chinese bitter melon seeds to mutate the reproductive system of Drosophila suzuki, which is like a major agricultural pest of soft flesh fruits. And it causes about $500 million in damages each year within the United States. And so, yeah, I used the Chinese bitter melon seeds to mutate that reproductive system so that it could be used as an insecticide. I actually met a pe local peach farmer at a dinner that I was having with my family and he explained how he was struggling to make a living because his crops kept on being devastated by Drosophila suzuki and he couldn't use traditional agricultural insecticides uh, if he wanted to maintain his organic status. And so then I uh, like kind of just thought about it for a couple months. I like didn't really do anything much about it. And then I was talking with the science fair advisor for our region. And he was telling me about old wives tales related to Chinese bitter melon and about how they induce sterility and have um, inhibiting effects on sperm count and reproduction in mammals and humans. And so I started researching that further and found that there, that um, Chinese bitter melon has in fact been used. So I thought maybe I could transfer it to being used on an invertebrate like Drosophila suzuki, which is a fruit fly. We'd purchased the Chinese bitter melon from local Asian markets in oh, okay. large quantities. We were like, they probably thought we were crazy because we'd just go in and purchase like 40 bitter melons and that's it. I think the initial challenge was I didn't have a lot of science background outside of my elementary and middle school classes and I couldn't find, because I grew up in a small town, there weren't any like major research labs that could like help me out with designing the experiment or provide me with like lab space to work in. And um, I also like in talking about my scientific design and uh, consulting with advisors from Fresno State and um, other educators, I came across a lot of skepticism that the idea could work at all, which I also had, but wanted to try it out. And so that was disheartening at first. I think that would be in the first initial design phase, that was what was most disheartening. But then once I started doing the project, I just wasn't quite prepared for the scope of how much work I'd be doing. So I'd come home from water polo practice at like 7 p.m. And then my dad and I would cut open 40, 50 bitter melons, scoop out the seeds, grind them into a paste, let them dry. Um, and so he was super helpful with that. That was definitely like learning how to balance ac my academic pursuits and my fun, as well as my science fair experiment was hard for me at first. So I did find that there was a inhibitory effect on fecundity um, with the bitter melon concentration at 2.5 and 5%. There's no real path that will get you to where you need to go. You learn a lot along the way. Um, mm -hmm. and just enjoy learning those things, even if it isn't like a straight and narrow path. Do what you're passionate about, um, even if it's not the thing that everyone else thinks is the most exciting or groundbreaking. If you're passionate about it, that passion will come through in your work.